this will take the data from you know this will take all the application uh, data okay and it will take it to microsoft intelligence point microsoft asset intelligence point so microsoft synchronization point you can say it will take the data and take it to microsoft intelligence synchronization point and microsoft will categorize the application and give you the list uh, will give you the list like this it will categorize the application and give you the list like this so microsoft will categorize like browser which contains ie firefox uc browser safari right um chrome similarly microsoft will categorize the player so uh, vlc um window media player um mx player okay like c plus um, plus c sharp what is there exactly c sharp or something uh, so it, it, they can developer application so microsoft will categorize all those 100000 application in your firm based on this category so that is the role of asset intelligence synchronization point point number eight reporting services point what is reporting services point so so as name says reporting something related to reports right so you have your SCCM and you have your database here database contains all your reports right all the tables and rows and everything is there in the database what you do you install one you have your sccm server you install one role that is called rsp reporting services point rsp and this is your database db so basically it takes the data from database and you have it here in the sscm console so you can access the reports whatever the reports you have in the database you can access them from sscm console that's reporting services point guys endpoint protection that is antivirus I have a question about reporting service point. Yeah. So what does it do exactly? Just talk with the database or does it communicate like if there is kind of error or something? It database ha has all the reports, right? Okay. So to access the reports, you need reporting services point to be installed. You have to install first uh, the reporting services point and that will help you to access those report from SCCM console itself. You don't need to go to the database. Okay, so it's just like a gateway to connect to database yeah. and get the information. Yes. Okay, yes. and other than that, it doesn't actually send you like a report. Let's say instead of you going and accessing it, will it actually show up like the reports every day, like something like that? you can you can create a subscription automatically every day the report will come to your inbox okay or great. it will it will save the report on uh, somewhere on a shared location okay sweet thanks endpoint protection point this is basically antivirus you can deploy antivirus to something like this i have avg you can deploy 
uh, endpoint protection uh, to all the devices. So endpoint protection was not there in SCCM before, but Microsoft purchased one company called Forefront Endpoint Protection. So the name of the company is Forefront. And they used to create this endpoint protection antivirus. So what Microsoft did is they purchased this company, okay, Forefront, and you have your SCCM here. And in SCCM, when you purchase the license for SCCM, they give you this Forefront endpoint protection free, okay? You install one role here called endpoint protection role. And through that role, you can deploy antivirus to all the devices. Let's say you have thousands and thousands of devices and you need to deploy antivirus. So you can deploy as endpoint protection to through this role. And you can uh, monitor the malware or whatever it is, the, the virus, and uh, uh, the, the computer is healthy or not, everything from SCCM console itself. So we'll have to purchase the license. Is that right? Yeah, we'll have to purchase the license for SCCM. That, so let's say when I actually purchase SCCM, so how many computers mm -hmm. can I install the antivirus? Is this like a count that, or is it like... like that a, depends. <laughs> that depends on how you negotiate with Microsoft. For SCCM, it is it comes under system center license. So in system center license, basically you get two types of uh, licensing model. Either you go with enterprise model, or you get go with the um, device count, number of devices. For example, you have ten thousand devices, so they will charge you based on the number of devices you are managing. Oh, okay, okay. got it. Point number, SMS provider, okay. Now this is, an, this is a hidden role. You can't see this role. Now, point number 10, role number 10, that is SMS provider. What exactly SMS provider does? SMS provider is actually sitting between SCCM and database because sccm needs a database without database you cannot install sccm you have to have a database so sms provider so it takes the data from sccm and sends it to database suppose sccm needs to save something in database it, it does not send the data directly to database. It sends it to the SMS provider and SMS provider will send it to the database. So it does the communication bridge between the SCCM and database like a postman. Um, what else? Service connection point. Service connection point is actually for SCCM server. So you have your SSCM server and you have your um, Microsoft Microsoft keeps on releasing updates for SSCM servers right so suppose today Microsoft has released 18.1802 tomorrow they will release 1806 so this service connection point 
will be installed here okay uh, service connection point which will which keeps on talking with microsoft and as and when the new update comes in it will give you a pop-up this new update is available for sccm like 1806 is now available or 1810 is now available so you can install those update and also service connection point the second role of service connection point is to communicate with microsoft intune server intune to manage your mobile devices which i'll show you later but just for high level you understand this one service connection point is basically to keep your sccm site server up to date it will give you a pop-up like in your phone you know as and when uh, uh, um, the apple releases a new update on your phone you get a pop-up that new update is available similarly in sccm console you get a new um, update that new uh, sccm version is available <clears throat> okay so state migration point that is not very important but just to let you know guys point number 13 state migration point what does it do state migration point is basically to migrate user to capture the setting of um, for example you have windows 7 right win 7 and you are migrating it to windows 10 Now, during the migration, what you do, you create a SharePoint, a shared drive. This is your network share. And what exactly the state migration point does is, you have your state migration point. State migration point. It captures the current setting of windows 7 right it captures all the users and network related settings and put it on the network share location as a backup and when the migration happened when the windows 10 is done you know when the migration is done it takes the data back and sends it to windows 10 so that the same settings is available for the user user will not lose any settings got it so that's the requirement of that's the functionality of state migration point anyone has any question in ssm site roles so far I have okay. one question. So, yeah. Sorry for keeping on asking a lot of questions. No worries. Mm -hmm. uh, so you actually said the application, uh, whatever, catalog, website point, and the web server point. What is the difference between both? OK. So application, catalog, website point, and web server point. I'll show you. To create a website, right, you need application catalog, application catalog website point. You need a 
you need a website right internal app store for that you need a website so to create a website you you do this now in order to connect this website to sccm so that when you publish any application through sccm the application will be available in this website so for connection between website and sccm you need another role application catalog web service point clear got okay. it or not so it's a web server point or web service web service i i spelled it correct incorrect here web service point actually not okay. web server point that's it's what i was service. like uh, is it a different kind of server i was like kind of confused with that no no okay. it's web service. web service okay got it thanks okay so we discussed about those things sites uh, what else yeah now the lab no let me close this up now the lab setup there are two types of lab first one is local you at least need 12 gb of ram quad core processor Three hundred GB free hard disk space to set up a lab. Uh, like uh, I'll show you in my computer, VMware. So you need to install VMware or Oracle Virtual Machine or Hyper uh, Hyper V anything of your choice but i'll prefer this one vmware workstation you need to have three servers here one is your domain controller one your sccm server and the other one is database server three servers are there and one is your client computer windows 7. okay so sccm server dc server domain controller db server database and one client computer this is the first um, method of creating lab the second method is uh, you go on cloud okay on microsoft azure or aws or you go on google cloud okay that depends i would prefer microsoft azure because they that gives us uh, azure gives us 30 days trial free trial so you can create your servers there sccm db in fact you can create you can create four servers there you can create four servers on azure like i'll show you <clears throat> so this is my microsoft azure portal <clears throat> i have subscribed it with 30 days uh, trial period it needs actually during the subscription uh, during the free subscription all of them aws azure or google cloud all three needs credit card 
just for verification they will not charge anything okay don't worry about the credit card details but they will not going to charge anything just for the verification purpose they are asking the credit card details so you need to provide your credit card uh, during the azure setup and then after subscription sorry after subscription you will be able to create your service like this so i have my server domain controller database sccm primary site and sccm secondary site this is a different server so i have like created five servers all together here and i have put them on canada uh, east uh, data center this one is in canada central data center okay and then you can build your uh, lab any question guys okay now you tell me who will go on cloud and who will stay on local who has good configuration of computer yeah already i told you kashif i will go with the cloud only because my laptop who is this uh, prasanna pramod pramod okay pramod you will go on cloud okay so you'll go on azure um prasanna uh, even i will go with azure okay and uh, um who else satya right yes uh probably i have to go with the cloud because uh, i'm using my laptop it's a old one <laughs> okay you will also go on cloud okay but i actually needed one guy to be on local uh, lab you can access my computer but it's going to be kind of tough for you Yeah. Okay. Fine. No worries. The 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 reason why I'm saying one person needs to be on the local lab setup because for operating system deployment, we actually the practical can be the theory is fine, but the practical can be done locally, not on Azure. Apart from operating system deployment, everything is possible on cloud. The practical. Okay. but no worries i can show that on my computer so what exactly Here, guys. do you want us to do so let's say if i am going to give you as a local are you going to reinstall or something or is it just like a demo you are going to have a vmware setup yeah it will have to do the, the complete setup the vmware workstation then we will have all the servers then we will have the client computer but you need the space right setup. at least like 300 gb yeah I minimum 300 yeah, minimum 300 gigabyte is needed hard disk uh, hard disk no i don't think so i have that space let me see give me one minute okay hmm. oh i have a server machine would you like to join on that one server machine yeah i have a okay. 2016 uh huh how many uh, what is the ram configuration i have 20 gig and uh, hard disk uh, let me see yeah me one i wasn't sure about this but i guess it should be 270 something that's okay that's more than sufficient i think okay yeah i have 272 gb it's going to be like 300 gb free space right free the free space is 272 db okay very good we can do it we can install vmware on that server machine i have a hyper v or do you need anything else i would suggest vmware because uh, that actually works uh, very nicely mm -hmm. so hyper v i have seen it gives some issues 
somewhere between when when we are trying to connect to the uh, networking during the networking it uh, sometimes it does not provide the IP address properly okay so do you want me to remote in from the server or how are we gonna do that now today what I'm going to do mm -hmm. I want you guys those who are going on cloud uh, promote and prasanna you will need to subscribe with Azure for 30 days free trial okay it will ask for your phone number it will ask for your email address and your credit card details so subscribe for 30 days free trial I'll give you the link uh, what you need to do um, basically what you need to do is you need to go to uh, first you go to live.com and create one account for yourself like this create account so you will be able to create your Microsoft account I have I have our outlook account I have a hotmail okay but uh, I normally suggest to use a new account but if you already have that's also okay you create that account and after that you come to Azure free trial okay and you will get uh, this one create Azure free account today start free And you need to give all your details there your phone number your uh, name address your credit card details and then you are all uh, set with the Azure so that is going to be for Promote and Prasanna so create your subscription Azure subscription and for uh, uh, Satya what you need to do I will send uh, um, links to you you need to to download VMware workstation and install on server machine download a couple of things like Windows Server 2012 R2 ISO I'll send you the file for that one as well download SQL uh, Server 2014 SP2 ISO and download SCCM 1606 these are the four things you need to download and build server uh, build three servers as DB give you just need to give the name DB first server is going to be DB second is going to be SCCM the third is going to be um, uh, DC domain controller so what you can do you can after down after installation of VMware workstation you go here and create new virtual machine go next and choose the installer disk so choose the Windows server disk which you will download uh, eventually and then next and then give for example the first server is going to be the domain controller so you give domain next next and uh, uh, finish similarly and you, when you turn this on this is for this process is for the for uh, satya 
who is going to do the local setup okay so create three servers domain and similarly create new virtual machine um but but one more thing sorry in domain you choose data center gui data center edition which i'll show you right now taking time okay so it's going to come because if uh, yeah is it mandatory yeah. to have google google heads of ram is it is it mandatory to have 12 gigs of ram 12 or max 16 anything which is equal to and greater than 12 that's fine i have like eight so you choose uh, eight gigabyte is uh, i don't recommend because oh, do you have i7 or i5 which one or I amd five. processor i5 processor it will it will be very a slow performance right okay okay so next uh, install now Satya, this is for you, okay? Or anyone who is going on local setup. Okay. So this is going, I, I'm showing you the step for for uh, one server. You need to create do the same step for two more servers. So we basically need three Windows 2012 R2 servers. One will be domain, one SCCM, and one will be your database. You just have to keep the server ready. You don't have to do anything after that tomorrow when we meet we will do the uh, the installation and prerequisite of sscm and all here you, you you need to make sure you choose this one data center evaluation server with gui don't choose the core one because if you choose the core one only the command prompt will be there you won't have the gui so make a note of it you need to choose Windows Server 2012 R2 data center, data center evaluation server with GUI for all the three servers. Okay. okay. And quick question: Next. So to download the VMware, is there any specific thing for servers, or is it just for Windows? Windows. I I will give you the I'll give you the setup for everything. Don't worry about it. Accept okay. the license terms. Next, and choose this one. Install Windows only and uh, next and that's it so you need to follow this same process for all these three servers okay and keep the server ready before tomorrow's session then we can go ahead with the next step okay and uh, those who are going on azure keep your subscription ready okay and uh, can you share can you share me the software of those Yes, I am going to share the drive. Uh, yeah, I'm going to share the drive uh, as well. Uh, yes, I'll send you the the email. Uh, you will have the drive. Uh, you, you will have the installers. You can download. So sendspace.com and I clicked on download. Okay, it took me to join now to this side. So let's say when I actually entered my information. Okay. Sign up. So it's asking me to go ahead and validate all of this information. So they said it's not no, going to charge, but I just want to make sure if this is the right side. No, or no. If I'm no, no. No, no, don't do it. Go back. This one? Go back. Yeah. This is go actually down. email. Go down. No, no, click on that. Yeah, go down. Click on this download with wizard. It 
doesn't do nothing. Okay, don't worry. I'll ask uh, Srinivas to connect with you or we will send you the Google Drive link rather than this send space link. Okay, okay. great. Okay. Double click yeah. or double time uh, process. Which one? You mean on this one, download with whistle? Download the first one. Okay. Because it's just like a hyperlink to a different site. Let's click one more time. Okay, so this is the video is actually downloading right yeah. now. Yeah, downloading. Oh, okay. So, so okay. I can just ignore this one, right? Yeah, you can ignore okay. that one, yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Thank you so much for joining the session. I hope the session was informative. We'll meet again same time tomorrow. But please make the setup ready, okay? All right, sounds good. And when am I going to get the ISO file? Are you going to share it or...? Yeah, we will send you uh, like in half an hour from now. All right, sounds great. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.